Hey everyone, today we're going to be going through the very basics of any files. Um, now I have done any files before in previous tutorials, but today we're going to be going back and looking at the uh, very basics of any files and looking uh, more in depth into the functions and how to use them. Okay, so to start off with, we're going to create a room so that we can actually run and test our game, and we're going to create an object, and I'm just going to name mine obj any but it doesn't really matter what you name it. Um, just drag that to the side and then just add that into the room now and we're ready to go. Okay, so we just add a create event and then drag in a code block and now we're ready to start typing. Alright, so uh, the first and most important part of using an any file is opening uh, the any file for both reading and writing. Um, to do this, all you have to do is type any open and then put on your brackets like that and then within those it asks for the argument f name which stands for file name um, and this is a string uh, which is the name of the any file that you're trying to open now if the any file that you're trying to open doesn't exist it will automatically be created by game maker so in this case I'll just name it any um, and then put dot any at the end of it, otherwise it'll show up as an unknown file type when you actually go to look at it um, because you need the extension name at the end of it. Okay, uh, and then with that done, you are then at that point ready to do read or write uh, to that any file. Um, once your reading and writing is done, you need to remember to close the any file, and that's as simple as writing any close. And that simply closes the file. Um, so you're not reading or writing to it uh, anymore. If you forget that function, you will most probably uh, run into issues um, later on when you're trying to read or write. So always remember to open and close um, when you're done. Okay, so actually writing data to an any file, uh, there's two ways to do this, um, and that's for two different data types. So you've got your numbers, um, or in this case, real, um, or you have text, which is called a string. So we'll do both of these right now, um, and we'll also look at how the data is actually sorted out in the any file. So uh, to start off with, we're going to do numbers. So we're at any, write, and real. It shows up just there, so you can just press enter to make it auto enter that in. Okay, so in the arguments, you can see it needs to have a section, a key, and a value. Okay, so the, the way any files work is they're sorted out by sections. So this section could be high scores, it could be game data, um, items, whatever you want. Uh, so a section, you just enter a string name um, to name the section. So we'll just name ours data, like so. Uh, the key is basically the variable name within the any file. So uh, for this, how about we just write score, like so. Um, remember, it's got to be in quotes. And then you enter your actual value, which doesn't have to be in quotes because it's the actual number that you're trying to enter. And for now, we'll just put in zero for that. Okay, so when it's in the any file, it'll have uh, two brackets around data, which is our section. And then below that, it'll have our score for a key, or you can pretty much just see it as a variable name. And then it'll say score equals zero because that's the number that we're writing to it. Um, it's essentially the same thing for a string, but instead of writing any, any write real, you write any write string, like so. And then that requires the uh, same arguments, except instead of a number, it has to be a string. If you uh, try to put a number into that, you should get an error. So again, we'll put in data for the section. The key can be name. And the string can be... I'll just put in my name, so Nathan. Uh, feel free to enter whatever you want, though. Alright, and that there will open our any file. Write um, a score variable equal to zero. And write a name variable equal to Nathan. Um, it'll then close the any file because we're done using it. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is uh, tick that off and we'll just run our game. So just hit the play button, it should just show up with an empty room and it won't look like it's done anything at all. 
Okay, so to actually find out if it's done anything or not, we have to go to where the init file is saved. GameMaker saves that in um, app data. So to do that, we'll go to the start menu, my computer. Uh, mine is in local disk H. Uh, yours will probably be in local disk C though. You want to go to users, your username, app data, and local. Now the app data folder might be hidden, so you'll have to turn off hidden folders um, in your computer's uh, folder preferences. Okay, once you do that, you're going to want to look for um, your project name. In my case, it's Tut Basics of Any Files. So I'm just going to put in T. And here it is. You can see Tut Basics of Any Files. You see it. So I open up that folder. And here is our Any. So this is, as you can see, I'll bring up this again. Here I told the name to be Any.Any. So when I bring up the folder, you can see the name is Any.Any right there. And if I open that up, you can see our section is data uh, and then we have our score which is the number that we wrote which is equal to 0, 0.000 but so it's equal to 0 um, and then name is equal to Nathan which is my name okay and um, you can actually edit this file and then save it and the game can still read it back okay so it doesn't matter if you uh, edit it without actually being in the game or not it'll still load OK as long as you don't mess up any of the values. Okay, so we can close that for now and I'll leave Windows Explorer up for later. Okay, so that's writing. Um, reading is essentially the same. So now that we've written data, we need to comment this out so that it'll no longer run. And we're going to make two variables. One called score. Oh, sorry. Got to end the comment. Get one called score. I'll set that to zero. I shall name it S so that we're not using the default variable. And now uh, one called name and we'll set that to just empty quotes. Okay, so then we need to load our data from the ini file. And to do this we need to start by opening the ini file for reading. And then the ini file name is ini.ini. And normally I straight away just go down two lines and put in any close to make sure I'm not going to forget it later on. Okay, so to read, it's really simple. What we have to do is write s equals any read real. Alright, so it wants the section name, which is data, the key, which is score, and then default. And that's going to be the default value. So if this key or section doesn't exist, it still needs to return a value. So the default value this time, we're just going to set to zero. Okay, um, and then for name, we'll write name equals any read string. And once again, we have to give it a section, which is data, key, which is name, and then a default value, and we'll just put in empty quotes for that. Okay, so now we need to actually see if we've read this back or not, so we'll just go show message. Helps if you actually spell it correctly. And then here we'll write score and then plus string and within that we'll put in our s variable plus uh, name plus string name actually we don't even need to string that because it's already a string so that can just be plus name Okay, so what this should do is it'll start off by initializing a variable, so you don't actually need to do that there, but I'm just doing that so that you can see what's actually happening. Uh, then we open our any file, we then read the data um, of the score variable, and that is then stored in our s variable here. Um, and then we read the string, which is stored in the name, and then we close the any file because we're no longer using it, and then we're just going to display the data read back. Okay, so what should show up? is score should be equal to zero and name should be equal to Nathan. So take that off and run the game again. And as you can see, score zero, name Nathan. Okay, so to make sure that this is working properly, we're going to go back, close that, and go back into our game. And uh, this time, we're going to uncomment this code here. 
and instead of setting score to zero, I'm going to set score to five, and we'll set Nathan to Tom. Alright, so if we run that, it should return 5 for the score and Tom for the name. As you can see, score 5, name Tom. And then if we go back and look at our actual file here, and you can see the score is now equal to 5 and name is equal to Tom. Now I'm going to show you how you can edit these without actually using GameMaker. So we're going to comment out this code here again, like so. And then we'll go back to Windows Explorer and open out any file. So here I'm going to change Tom to go Jess. We we'll change score to 9000. All we have to do is save that and then run our game again. And as you can see, score is 9000, name is Jess. So that's pretty much it for any files. Now these can be used for like so many different things so whether that's uh, saving high scores, uh, saving settings such as whether the game has been muted or not, the options are pretty much endless um, and they're well structured and easy to use. So yeah that's the basics of how to use an any file. I uh, hope this helped you guys out. Um, like the video if it helps, subscribe, you know, all that social media stuff. Um, Check out our GFX channel for tutorials on graphics. Um, so whether that's how to make a background, how to texture a cube, whatever, uh, you'll probably be able to find it there. Um, yeah, again, I hope this helped you out, and I'll see you in the next video.